All right, guys, stay strong. Keep it going. I know this series feels like it's taking forever, but keep with it, and soon we will have our own CMS. So in the last video, we were able to write a code in PHP that was to output when there was an error. But I want to be a little bit more specific. So let's go back up to our edit underscore info dot PHP page. And let's, uh, let's track down our H2. I'm just going to go ahead and command find. Type in H2. There it is. Okay, so I want to add a little bit of code right under here, just above our form action. So I'm going to clean this up just a little bit right here. Consolidate a little bit. Okay, I guess that's fine. And let's go ahead and create our PHP tags. Drop down a few lines. I'm gonna go ahead and create a comment right now, just to give you guys a head up, heads up of what we're doing. We're just we're just trying to be a little bit more specific when there is an error. So let's go ahead and type in output a list of the fields with errors. And right now it is one in the morning, so if I don't have all my energy and my vibe is off, stay with me, but just follow along and hopefully this will make sense and all of our code is correct. So let's go ahead and create an if statement. If errors is not empty, with the, with the exclamation point right here, you always gotta kinda read it backwards. So it's like you're really talking about errors the variable, the function, and then it. So errors is not empty, just like that. I mean, that's at least how I remember it. So drop down a little bit and let's go ahead and create, let's echo our, our CSS that we never even created. You don't have to put the class in. I'm just going to go ahead and do it because maybe I might want to go ahead and do our style.css page and create um, some CSS. So all these uh, typography and font size right here are, are not all the same. So let's just go ahead and keep on creating what we are creating. Close that out and let's... What do we want to say and be nice? We gotta be very nice. Please correct the following fields. And then let's, nope, we're not concatenating. We're just doing an HTML break tag. Let's close that out. Now let's go ahead and run a for each loop. Let's get a temporary variable. We'll just set this to, I don't know, error. And we'll echo concatenate. Air and I am falling asleep at the wheel. Like this. I'm gonna consolidate this a little bit. I'm gonna refactor this and bring it up. Especially this, this is way too many lines of code. Uh, okay. So we look at this echo p underscore class. I'm gonna pause the video. I guess we didn't really have to put this hyphen right here. We could put anything right there. We could put that asterisk we were talking about. Yes, yeah, go ahead and put that asterisk. And We'll just echo our closing p tag again for CSS that has not been created. Let's go ahead and close that out and let's check to see if this works. So let's go ahead and now we'll do the same exact thing. We'll just delete this and edit information. Fatal error, line 85. Okay, so we're not going to use that asterisk. Let's go ahead and just use the hyphen. Let's go back to our content.php page. We'll start from the top. This is Village Park. Fatal error. Let me pause this. See the time right here, it's 1.01 a.m. and I just made a stupid, stupid, stupid mistake. We have, there is no function just called errors with an S in PHP. It's empty. That's what I meant to write. Let's go ahead and save this. 
Let's reload it. Let's go ahead and take out this is Village Park and let's type edit information. There it is, perfect. Okay, please correct the following fields. Now I kinda wanna do add some CSS, even though I don't think we need a video for it. If you wanna go ahead and do it, do it on your own, make it super cool or make it really small. Let's go ahead and try to uh, put the asterisk in right here instead of the hyphen, see how that looks. Load that. Looks a little bit better. So we know that the following field is incorrect, our menu right there, and we know that because it is, because it, is our menu. These are all our menu items right here. This is Village Park. Video. Services. Random. If we click video and delete it, it should give us the same exact error. There it is. Please correct the following fields. Alright guys, good luck with this. I think our form submission in terms of updating our database is pretty sound at this point. So let's go ahead and jump into something totally new and uh, good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video.